Hey all, Kyle here, A80Z. We are going to make a single sideband macro in N1MM so you can save your voice in those long contests. So if you want to know how to make this macro, we got two easy steps. Stay tuned. Okay, the first step you want to do is record your CQ. I use Audacity to record all of my CQs. Link is in the description below if you want to use Audacity. I install it and double click on it. It's going to load and I'm going to make sure that my correct microphone is chosen here with my speaker and I'm doing a mono recording because everything is in mono on your radio. So all you have to do is hit the button, the record button and record a CQ. So let's record a CQ for Missouri QSO party. Here we go. CQ Contest, CQ Contest, Missouri QSO Party, Alpha Alpha, Zero Zulu. All right, there is my CQ. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to select the beginning and the end and kind of trim this up. I'm going to click on the audio, and I'm going to go into Effects, and I'm just going to normalize this to peak amplitude uh, negative 1 dB, and I'm going to click on that. Looks like it didn't uh, change much, but I like to normalize my, my audio. This needs to be saved as a WAV file for N1MM to recognize it. So I'm going to go in here to File, and I'm going to export this as a WAV. It's going to bring up my dialog box to export this audio. And you're going to go down here to Documents. N1MM Logger Plus Wave, and this is where it gets a little bit crazy. For this video, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the Wave folder, into the root of the Wave folder. I've got some other folders here, but we're going to explain what those other folders are for. So I'm going to name this uh, CQ MOQP. And it's a waived signed 16-bit PCM file. And I'm just going to hit the Save button, okay? And it's going to come up here with this other window. And it's going to ask me a bunch of questions about meta tags and uh, metadata. I don't care about any of that stuff. I am going to click the OK button. And I'm going to verify that that file is in the folder that I put it in. So if I come over here and bring in another window, you can hit um, Windows E to bring up this dialog box. It's just your files on your computer. I'm gonna navigate to Documents, N1MM Logger Plus, Wave, and then here is my CQ right here that I just recorded. Now I need to go tell N1MM where to find this WAV file whenever we hit the F1 button in N1MM. Let's start up N1MM and I will show you where you can get into the macros in order to point N1MM to this WAV file. Okay, I have booted up my Flex and I have started N1MM and I am in the entry window up here and the macros are underneath the run and the search and pounce radio buttons. Typically, whenever you're running, F1 is CQ, F2 is exchange, F3 is thanks, F4 is your call. Pretty standard on the macros. And whenever you click on the search and pounce, they actually change. In order for you to edit these, what you can do is I hover over one of them and I right click. And it's going to bring up this window. And here is all the configurations for the macros. You can see that a pound is a comment. And then you've got the run messages, which are here. And then you've got the search and pounce messages, which are underneath the search and pounce header. The way that this goes is F1, that's the key that you're going to hit. So F1 is defined here. The name of the macro, the name that you actually see on the button, and then the action. And that's separated with a comma. So... Remember we named the CQ that we recorded in Audacity, we called it CQMOQP.WAV file. That was in the root of the WAV folder in N1MM. 
our F1 key, it's going to be called CQ, and it's going to look for the CQMOQP.wav file whenever we hit the F1 button, and it's going to look for that file in the wave file folder. Now, the second macro that we've got here, it's the F2 button, and we call it EXCH, which is the exchange, so that's what we're going to give the other operator, we're going to give the, the exchange. And you can see that there is a squiggly line, a operator variable, a closed squiggly bracket, a backslash, and then the wave file. N1MM has the ability for you to log in and change operators as you contest in like a multi-op. So whenever I'm doing a multi-op, I will sit down at a console and I will hit control O and it will a dialog box will pop up and it will say, who are you? And I will log in with AA0Z. And this way you can have different macros for different operators who are operating at your station. If you are the only operator at your station, you have to decide if you're going to log in whenever you start contesting or you going to just have the defaults point to the WAV file, the WAV file directory under the N1MM documents folder. So that's what you have to figure out. Typically, I remove all the operator parameters and I just point everything to the WAV folder. In this case, we've got the operator and there's a whole bunch of different macros that you can program that is going to come in another video about how to program these macros for CW because there's a whole slew of things that you can do. So in this case, we're just going to concern ourselves with the F1 key, which is the CQ. So after you're done editing this file, you wanna hit the save button. I'm going to hit the cancel button because I've already configured this. So then if you have all of your parameters set up in N1MM correctly to pass audio back and forth. If you don't know how to do that, you can go up here to config and this logger plus audio setup, and it will bring up a dialog box. Let me bring it down here. It'll bring up a dialog box where you can configure the audio for your radio and make sure, and to make sure that it's actually getting to your radio. So then we're all done. So let's see if we did this correctly and we can hear our CQ. CQ contest, CQ contest, Missouri QSO party, Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu. So I clicked the button with my mouse and I can hit the F1 button here. CQ contest, CQ contest, Missouri QSO party, Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu. That is how you create and change SSB macros to hopefully save your voice on a long contest weekend. If you got any questions, put a comment below. All of the links will be in the description to anything that I used up here. Thanks, 73.